Hello. In today's video, we're going to go over a very valuable method, uh, which is available um, actually in the property inspector called the value change listener. And what this allows you to do is, is when a component is manually changed, you can actually kick off code to run uh, that you can then evaluate the data and perhaps um, do some uh, changes behind the scenes uh, as that data is updated. So that is available here. Um, first of all, I'm clicked on a input file. I have the um, just a typical uh, model here of the employees. Um, basically the employee EO, the employee VO, and just the app module. And I've created uh, a very simple uh, form. So I'm clicking here and I'm just going to show you how to use it. What you would do is you'd come over here and you would uh, choose your upload beam. And I already have another one set, but I'm going to call this the first name value change listener. Okay, and that's going to create some code in what's called my upload beam. Now remember that the upload bean, or whatever I call it, is registered here. So if you, uh, usually you, you, when you do the wizards, it'll create it for you and it'll register for you. But if you do it manually, you might have to come in here and actually register it. Uh, and you do that by pressing this and you can create new um, registered. And you notice here that it's called upload bean, but um, this is the actual location of it. And you can see that it's in com, SSF, uh, upload app, view, beans, and uh, it's upload. Uh, the dot Java is missing from there. And you can see that I've set it at the request scope. And here it is. And you can see that I have the first name value change listener. Let's go back to the um, first name value here. And let's take a look at this. Here you see that there is no parameter passed in, okay? So that's something that uh, this does not uh, require you to do. It automatically puts this in here. And uh, you can do uh, old value. Hold on. And put a plus sign and then take this and do dot. And here you can see the old value. And uh, so that we have that. Now you can ma manipulate these. It came out as an object, as you saw. So dot new value, get new value. And you can see that it's returning as an object. In this case, you know, you might want to change it to a string or whatever you need to do to evaluate it properly. But you can see now that I've got the new value. And uh, if we run this, uh, then you can see that as I change the name of the um, first name, that will kick in. Now, another thing that we absolutely have to do is change the auto submit to true. Otherwise, it will just sit there and do nothing and you'll wonder what's going on. So let's run this. Okay, I've got my first name here. Um, I'm, this is actually uh, something that I'll be going over with, but let's just change that to Stephen SSSSSS. And you can see now that the uh, value change listener kicked in and it evaluated the old value and the new value. So um, what we're gonna do next is we're going to show you what happens when I do a choose file. And this is something, um, let's see, I better choose a different one. I don't know, we'll choose Homer. Okay, so now, well, there's some problems there, but uh, the value change listener, what, I'm, what I have here, and what, let's go to that code actually, where you can see this. This is the input file. I have it uh, just sitting on the uh, JSF page. No value is set. It's not set to the data control or anything like that. Uh, but you can see here that I have an upload bean dot input file value change listener. Okay, and I also have a reference to the binding here so that I can actually look at uh, the 
the data or look at the file, look at this input component, and uh, then work with it in the upload file. So let's let's just quick quickly take a look at that. So I have here a rich input file, okay, which is uh, the binding that I just showed you, and then I have the input file value change listener. Uh, the first thing I do is that I just say, hey, I've started this. And now I'm saying, hey, look, if the new value isn't null, I want to run this process. I want to get the new file, and I want to put it into a file, and then I'm going to use this method to evaluate it. And let's just go to that method. Uh, so you can see here, I'm not going to go over this very quickly, but what I am doing is, is that I'm establishing a link to the, a, uh, the application module, which is up here. And uh, then I'm setting the value in the table, I'm getting the view object and the row, and I'm setting the value in the table, and then I'm saving it. Uh, and then this is probably the more useful thing as part of this, this video. I'm going to go over this in another video. This is beyond this video. But here I actually uh, reset the value so that after you choose the picture, it goes null. So uh, no child file chosen. I'm going to change it. And you can see that when it's evaluated, it clears out. And that is uh, this code right here. Um, and this is something else as far as uh, going to the row uh, and having that image refreshed. So um, the value change listener is extremely useful, especially in this regard. It's really kicking this off and getting the value and uh, just working with the get new value and the old value and doing some comparisons if you need to. So I hope that's helpful. Have a great day.